Hello YouTube and welcome to part 3 of the Executron Tutorials. Today we're going to cover the Unknown ship. I say today, but it's actually the same day. So, when you get the notification from either the map or your CEO that the Unknown ship has appeared, uh, what you're going to want to do is fly to the system that has the Unknown ship, which conveniently I have already done for your uh, viewing pleasure. And you're going to fly around it and on one of the sides here somewhere is numbered landing pads. I think that's them right there. Yep, here we go. So you see these flat areas that you can land on. You're going to press and hold Z like we discussed. And get out. Now, I suggest you bring some upgrades with you. First thing to know about this ship is that it's on a time limit. It has, you have only a limited amount of time that you can get on and do this. But this is one of the coolest things that you can do in an Executron when it happens. Is to land on this ship with some upgrades. So I've got a level 3 laser here. And a shield to help me. Because inside, it's kind of horrifying. We're in an abandoned research ship of some type. There's crates, hopefully looted, all over, looted? Dotted all over the place. I know what words are. But there's also a ton of investors. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in here. And you're just going to have a look around. Guns up and ready to go. You do not want to be in here when the timer gets up. So you want to get out of here as quickly as you can. And if you think that there's a risk that the opponent might send resources here to, you know, de devote, devoting resources towards stopping you or taking it for themselves, then you might want to bring a contingent of soldiers or order with some backup from your CEO. Here we go. We've got some investors already on our case. For me personally, I like to just stick to a wall and explore this thing kind of procedurally so that I can make sure that I hopefully don't miss anything. Ew, you're ugly. All right, here we go. We've got a crate. 20 Tritanium. That's actually a pretty good one early on. Now, I wouldn't say that we're early on in this game right now, but sometimes it can happen pretty early on, so getting 20 Tritanium for free like this is pretty worth it, I would say. We'll check and see if there's any better ones that we find on our way out, but if not, we're going to bring this one on back. Uh, I may have actually gotten myself lost. So that's cool. <laughs> oh, nope. So this, this is a very realistic representation of this ship, I guess, because it is extremely easy to get yourself lost. But the good news is, is that while you're in here, you can at the very least kind of look around, see what crates are in here. So like 8,000 Energen at this point in the game, if you're already inside this ship and the game's been going on for a little while, 8,000 Energen, probably not really worth your time, uh, unless your CEO tells you otherwise. Let's see. Don't see any other crates here. Sometimes you get unlucky, and this Tritanium type of box is the only good thing you get out of it. Other times you get incredibly unlucky and get almost nothing. And then sometimes you get incredibly very lucky, and you can find really cool things in here, like ship types and crazy upgrades, guns, all kinds of things can be found inside this ship, dotted into random places. So just keep your eyes peeled while you're in here and look for those crates. The more you find, the better. Here we go. Here's one I missed earlier. What's this? Another 8,000 Energen. <laughs> I'm just going to keep, keep walking around here. Be sure to keep in pretty close contact with your CEO. Ask him how long you've got on the thing left because this ship does have a timer that he can see and you do like I said you don't want to be here when it leaves so speaking of which Mr. Z how much time do I have left on this ship before it leaves it's 
Nine minutes, that's plenty of time for me. So it's looking like we kind of got a little bit of a dud ship here. Not seeing any good upgrades, but remember, you can use your multi-tool to check what you get. And you can usually get some pretty good stuff. Um, and just like I showed you with the Energen Outpost at the beginning of the game, uh, in the first part, you can go and check to see... Check to see. What am I saying? You can go land your your craft back at your uh, your trade port, as it were, back at home, and offload your inventory directly into the uh, the main inventory of the station. And from there, you will get access to anything that you've brought back. And I've also very conveniently just found my way back home. So we're gonna go ahead in here. So normally, you might see the troop transports landed here. The inside of this ship can get pretty intense when there's uh, other people hearing about, um, especially if you've got fighting with the infestors and other factions going on. So just be mindful of your awareness of your surroundings, and uh, and make sure to keep in contact with your uh, with your CEO as much as possible. You really want to keep on top of um, what's going on around you. He may also give you instructions on what you're looking for. Um, so he might tell you to look for Energen, in which case those 8K Energen crates would be plenty worth it. We're going to fly on back to Sigma. So normally this ship appears kind of mid-game. I would look for it at, ah, jeez, I would say we're probably around the, maybe the 25 minute mark, 30 minute mark-ish in this match. How accurate am I, Z? Eh, pretty close. You can blow it up. What do you mean you can blow it up? Interesting. Uh, this is a tutorial video, but now I'm kind of curious. Go for it. Uh, do you need the 20 Tritanium I have on me? Well, do you have more Tritanium? Oh, screw it. Sure, I'll go back and watch. I can always just bring it back afterwards. There's fighting here. Oh, dear. No, the protesters were waiting for me at the warp. I'm not, actually. I wonder if I can get around these guys. All right, this is actually a good opportunity with these protesters. You can press V at any time to go into a third person view of your ship. So we can see there, oh, I just narrowly escaped the protesters, but it would have been useful to be in my third person view to help me see what's around me a little bit better than the, uh, the cockpit view. I can press V now and I lose the, the UI as it were. It's telling me I can press E to get into my ship, which is hilarious because I'm in my ship. But uh, real quick, just for testing purposes, what's the time on this video? Nine minutes? Oh yeah, this is perfect. Let's go see what happens, <laughs> and then we can end this video. But anyway, um, for those of you just here for the tutorial, you can go ahead and stop watching now. That is what you do on the Unknown ship. And uh, it's pretty short, pretty straightforward. Just get on, go look for crates, fight the infestors, keep an eye out for enemy troops trying to take the crates for themselves, get out with what you can, bring it back home. Anything that can help your CEO out helps you out. You want upgrades. They want upgrades. Come and go. Okay. Z, go ahead and try to blow that thing up. Yeah, I'm watching. You're talking about the big unknown ship, right? No. Did nothing happen? Unfortunate. 
How much time is left on it, actually, before warp? Four minutes? Well, if there's only f if there's four minutes left, then I'll uh, I'll leave. I was gonna show you guys for those of you still watching, but uh, instead I think I'll actually leave it as a surprise. Um, anyway, so there you go. There's the unknown ship. This was part three, and we will see you guys in part four.